<laughs> In case you didn't hear, we're having lamb chops, peas, and baked potatoes. I know, Hazel, but I wouldn't call it a very inspired menu. What do you mean, inspired? Well, it's rather plain, isn't it? Why don't we ever have kidneys sautéed in wine or truffles? Oh, I didn't know you liked that fancy stuff. What you really mean is you don't know how to cook it. Well, now that you're getting to be such a gourmet, maybe I could learn. <laughs> Hazel, wait a minute. Uh, shouldn't you tear the lettuce into smaller pieces? It's just the size I always tear them. You always manage to get your mouth around them before. Oh, they're much too large. Hazel, salad is for people, not rabbits. Oh, Hazel, Hazel, these peas need a lot more water. There's nothing worse than burnt peas. Oh, well, I ain't ever burned one yet. Well, today could be the day. And they're not cooking fast enough. Now, I'd like my dinner before bedtime. All right. There, now. You satisfied? <laughs> Quite. <laughs> you should pay more attention to what you're doing. Uh, for instance, you ought to turn these chops now. Mr. B, that does it. Does what? I've been very patient about you coming out here and picking on my cooking, but you've gone far enough. The deal's off. Deal? Yeah. You come out here butting into my business, and that gives me the right to butt into yours and your friends, too. Well, Hazel, I didn't into... You wouldn't listen to me this morning when I tried to give you advice about Mr. Griffin's skillets. Well, you're going to listen now. Well, I, I guess I did break the bargain. Break it? You fractured it. Now, listen to this. Good cooks and housekeepers like me wouldn't give skillets like that house room. Oh? Why not? Because we got our favorites that we like to use and we wouldn't exchange them for none of those throwaways that you have to go down to the store and haul home every time you want to fry an egg. But Hazel, you don't have to wash them. That's the big thing. You don't wash skillets either, Mr. Smarty. You just wipe them out so they keep mellow and not scratchy. Uh, and you don't think Mr. Griffin should make this investment? I certainly would not. He's just going to throw his money away on those skillets. And you can tell him that for me. Hazel, come with me. Well, if I was you, Mr. Griffin, I'd save my money to buy something that makes more sense. Sure. Mr. B knows that I'm calling you. He kind of pushed me into it. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, goodbye. I got to get back to my dinner. Oh, uh, Hazel, <laughs> uh, just a minute. <laughs> now, I don't like to gloat, but I think you should know that I led you into a very neat little trap. George, you shouldn't tell her. Why not? Hazel is convinced she can outsmart anybody. Well, this time I outsmarted her, and I don't see why I shouldn't bring it to her attention. You outsmarted me, Mr. B? <laughs> Completely. Hazel, <laughs> that was just an act I put on in the kitchen. I did it so you'd come through with that information for Mr. Griffin. And believe me, you took the bait, and not only the bait, but the hook lined in the sinker. <laughs> well, for Pete's sake. <laughs> you sure put one over on me. That I did. And it isn't nice to rub it in, George. <laughs> oh, that's all right. When anyone's so dumb, they deserve to have it rubbed in. Is it OK if I make another phone call, Mr. B? Oh, of course. Go right ahead. Well, when anyone pulls any out of that, they got a right to brag a little. <laughs> Hi, Rosie. I just wanted to tell you it worked like a charm. Yep, just the way I figured it would. <laughs> yeah, see you soon. <laughs> Gonna be ready in a half hour, Mr. B. No, no, Hazel, uh, just a minute. Uh, what was that that worked like a charm? Oh, our bargain is off, so it's okay if I give you a little advice, right, Mr. B? Well, yes, of course. Well, you're so happy now. My advice to you is, don't ask what worked. Could she have... Oh, no. I outsmarted her. Or did I? Of course you did, darling. You're a man. 